Hi, in this video, I'd like to show you how to format your book. Quick tips that will help you create a beautiful book. Basically, from taking your book from looking like this to looking like this. Okay? Step one, what I like to do once I have my book in Google Docs, I like to choose a font that best suits me. So I highlight this, so I'm going to choose a font like Inter. After choosing a font, you might realize that it looks a little bit big, so I like to reduce the size. And basically, this looks much better to me. Everyone has their own taste, so you might choose a different font. Then the next, basically formatting simply means making your book easy to navigate. Making sure your book has the title and headings, everything very well specified. So let me quickly show you what I mean by that. This is, for example, this is the title of the book. This is the subtitle. So what I like to do is highlight the title, go to this, where you see normal text, and actually change it and update. This is the title. So I've made that a title. This is my table of contents. I want to remove unnecessary stuff. And just, by the way, just only maintain the top level. Because the table of content is simply for helping the reader navigate. So for me, I want to make it simple like this. Uh, this is my table of contents, okay? Now the table of contents is ready. Next, I want to make sure each heading or chapter heading begins on a fresh page. So I put this on the fresh page and I can highlight it and call it a heading. I want to say, update it into a heading. Basically, now this Google Doc knows that this is a heading. And I'm going to show you why. You see when I click here, now it shows you that this is a heading, okay? So I'll put this on the next page. You see, this is the same. It looks the same as this, but it's not recognized as a heading. So I can highlight it and apply heading. Okay. This looks good. Scroll down. This looks good. I'll make this a heading. Why am I making them headings? Because I want to create a clickable table of contents. And it's going to help me to identify headings real quick when I have highlighted them and told the document that this is a heading. Please treat it as a heading. I'll put this on a new page and treat it as a heading. Apply. I should put this on a new page. This is the best way to do it, uh, to put the main headings on new pages. It increases readability. That's what it's called. Okay. Apply heading. And now I'm going to show you. So I'm ready. Basically, my book is now formatted. It looks good. What I'm going to do different now is to make this table of contents clickable. When someone clicks here, it takes them to introduction. How do I do that? Simply go to introduction, for example, in this case, highlight it and then insert a link. You see this? And then I can choose. No, Siri, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> um, I can choose headings and bookmarks. You see that? So, introduction is a heading. That is why we highlighted it and called it a heading. Now it becomes clickable. I will insert a link and choose under headings. You see how everything that we highlighted and made a heading is now easy to access. This is how you create a clickable table of contents real quick in Google Docs. Insert link. What is this promoting something? Insert link. This is um, 
I want headings. Yeah, I'm doing creating. Almost done, guys. Insert link. Under headings and bookmarks. Grow. Your base conclusion. Insert link. Choose under headings and bookmarks. Conclusion. So you see this? It is not showing because we didn't make it a heading. Now, when I highlight it, again choose and apply heading, it will also begin showing in when I go to add the link. Okay, let me go back here real quick. I want to make it clickable. Highlight it, insert link, go under headings and bookmarks. And then you can see essential resources. Now, you can see I also added bookmarks. I didn't have to do that. But you can also use bookmarks as a way of creating a clickable table. So now, my book is ready. It has clickable table of contents, which is very vital. It looks good. Okay. I will highlight the title. Use it as my document name. And then I'm going to save it. File, download, download it as an EPUB. I want to save it on downloads. I want to save it on YouTube secrets. Save. Okay, that is saved. What I like to do is to make a copy of this document and create a sample file. And I will tell you why a sample file is important in the next part, especially when you're publishing on Ebo. So make a copy. Simply add sample file at the end of the title or simply add sample. And in the sample file, I'm going to delete everything except the introduction. So I'll delete everything except this. So I'll take all this out and just leave one chapter so that when someone goes to Ebo app, they can find a sample of the book. Perfect. That's how I do it. I will download the sample as well. Download sample in an EPUB format. Save. Basically, that's how you do it. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to publish your book on Ebo. See you.